Good evening, everybody. Yes, so glad to meet you here together. This is the first time we do our lesson where I deliver the lecture in English totally. So I'm happy that you can come. Welcome. So first of all, uh, let me do the prayer. So let's sit up right, place our palms together and concentrate on the prayer below. We take refuge with our mentor, Benny. We take refuge with Shakyamuni Buddha. We take refuge with all the triple jewel of the ten directions and the three periods of time. Thus, for opening our future, the surpassed, profound, and wonderful Dharma in hundreds of millions of years is difficult to encounter. We now see and hear it, receive and uphold it, and we vow to fathom the Tathagata's true meaning, and we vow to practice the Tathagata's true way, and we vow to attain the Tathagata's true state. We vow that we can spontaneously express the Buddhist understanding, Buddhist view, Buddhist wisdom, Buddhist merit and virtue, Buddhist capability and Buddhist state through our actions, speech and thoughts. We also, we also vow that all the living beings can enter into the Buddhist understanding, Buddhist view, Buddhist wisdom, Buddhist merit and virtue, Buddhist capability and Buddhist state owing to us. So <clears throat> that's the prayer for today. Yeah, and then we can begin our lesson on Samadhi, okay? So why we would like to study Samadhi? Because our mentor told us before, this is the mentor's instruction that we have three purposes. First one, to learn how to preach Buddha Dharma based on recitation through Samadhi. Because Samadhi is written by the Western people, maybe the, yeah, a Canadian guy, <laughs> yeah, a Canadian people, a, Can a Canadian writer. And secondly, understand some issues of other religions of other religions such as <clears throat> Jesus Christ about the Christian and the other the other religions. Okay. And the third, try to master pronunciation and the intonation. Because there is a video on Samadhi, so we can follow it, shadow it. Um, based that pronunciation and the intonation. So that's the three purposes. And uh, about, uh, about the topic Samadhi, what is Samadhi? So what's the content? Samadhi is a right way through meditation. It is a right meditation, not wrong meditation. In Shiran Gama Sutra, it says, if you, if you uh, go through a wrong meditation, you will become diverse. Yeah, it is terrible and it is hard to get back to return to the right way. So it is really terrible. So we need to, we need to uh, learn our our Buddha Dharma in a right way. So this is the right way, the Samadhi. And then how to carry out our lecture, our lessons. So there are the this is the teaching method. And uh, our aim is that 
one sentence per day. It means that we can, we just learn one sentence one day, not so, so many as so much. Okay, just, just one sentence. And secondly, we can, uh, we can have our lesson, we have our, our class through lecturing, lecturing, practicing, communicating, and then recitation or reciting. This is the teaching method and, and also the teaching progress process. process. And uh, after learning these classes, and uh, we have an aim, we, we need to uh, learn how to, we, we, our aim is that to achieve how to preach Buddha Dharma in English in a in a way of a native speaker. It also says it also says that uh, maybe after recitation about samadhi, we can we can be easier in a way of a native speaker to speak English to express ourselves, ourselves. So that's the aim. Okay. Um I really beg your cooperation during the whole classes, okay? During the whole classes. We need your help. We need your cooperation. So let's go ahead. And uh, as our master, as our mentor told, what is Samadhi? The definition of Samadhi and uh, its meaning in Buddha Dharma. So in our Buddha, Buddhism, Buddha Dharma, it also means Buddhism the Buddha religion. One kind of religion is our religion, is Buddhism. What we've learned is Buddha Dharma. So here, Buddha Dharma is an, a word, just one word, because it is is linked together now, is, it is the Buddha Dharma. So all, what we've learned is about the Buddha Dharma in English. So the definition about samadhi is right a proper meditation, not wrong or improper meditation, through meditation. Okay, the method, how to achieve samadhi. Yeah, the way of it, the outer way is meditation and then in a right way, in a proper way. So that's it. That's the definition. Definition about samadhi. And then, yeah, as we told before, we can have our lesson for one hour. But the lecturing, I mean that I speak on the mic for 20 minutes. I speak on the mic for 20 minutes. And then we can, we can follow, we can practice. We can shadow for another 20 minutes. And then if somebody can repeat, yeah, we can, we can have another 20 minutes to repeat or recite it, okay? So that's the timetable, about one hour uh, from, yeah, generally speaking, from Sunday, from Monday to Saturday. So six days a week if you like, okay. So that's the whole timetable. 20 minutes speaking, I was speaking on the mic, and uh, 20 minutes practicing, and then if you would like to repeat it or recite it in the last 20 minutes, okay? So that's the whole process. And then we can get our Today's lesson, let's get started. So I suppose you know the, the meaning, get started. Let's get started. Because yesterday, last night, I, uh, I made a table about the, the, the words on the lesson, the words on the lecture, right? So let's get started, today's lesson. So the content is about Samadhi. And also samadhi, 
samadhi, a samadhi. Both of them are okay because there is a, a, a the weak, the weak pronunciation, the weak, weak syllabus, queen, a. Uh, so I can replace a. Uh. So here it is. It is samadhi, a uh, samadhi. Both of them are okay. So this is the pronunciation about Somali. So uh, the part one, there are three parts currently about Somali uh, on that videos, on those videos. Part one is about Maya, Maya, okay, Maya, the illusion of the self. So here the, the pronunciation is very simple. So I didn't put it here. Maya, Maya, Maya. And then the illusion, illusion, illusion of the self. It is about, it is about the, uh, what is real and what is true. The self is true and the illusion is, is not real, right? So, so what is Maya? Somebody may ask me, what is Maya? What does Maya mean? According to Buddhist tradition, Buddhist tradition, Queen Maya of Chakra was the name of the mother of Sindara, Gautama, the Buddha. So it is from the Indian, and in the history, Maya, is a big people, you know, is a great people, is a group of people who are very, who were very great in the history. So this is Maya. Maya name, uh, simply name mother of uh, one religion. Mother of one religion. So here Maya, it means uh, self, the self. Maybe in the writer's, mind maya it is the self it is the self nature it is the self nature so here it is so the uh, pre, uh, the meanings the meaning that the definition is from wikipedia i think most of us learn the wikipedia website right wikipedia wikipedia yeah, that's it, that's it. So this is the uh, general introduction of Ma about Maya and about part one. Part one is, once again, is about what is true and what is illusion. What is the self? Self, it means the true, you yourself, the true nature and the illusion means it's not true, it's false. Such, such kind of this thing, okay? Let's go on. So this is the general introduction about Samadhi and about part one. Let's go to the lesson. The one sentence, as, as we told before, as we were told before, we just learn one sentence one day. It means just What's, what we would like to learn is just one sentence here. So the content is here. The sentence, sentence one is here. So uh, as the steps, do you know the, the order? Do you remember the order in our constitution? It means, yeah, do something in order. Do something in order. In order. So this is the order. This is the order. First one is words and expressions. So how to pronounce it? Uh, what does it mean? So this is the for, uh, words and expressions. Secondly, the grammar, the basic grammar. What's the sentence structure? What the sentence structure? What's the grammar inside? And then the comprehension. What does this sentence mean? So the comprehension and then quotation, because it, it, it is about our Buddha Dharma. Is there, yeah, is there some sayings from our sutures? So this is a quotation. And then 
Shai Dong, it's your time to practice, okay? And then, and then recitation, if you like, if you can. So sentence one, we begin with our new words and expressions. Uh, the, okay, let's go to the, let's go to the video first, okay? Video, from the video, we can, we can start, we can start, we can have a feel, the general feeling about the sentence, about the content. Okay, so where is the video? Just one moment. Here it is. Samadhi points to something that can't be conveyed on the level of mind. Samadhi is an ancient Sanskrit word for which there's no modern equivalent. Ancient Sanskrit. Samadhi is an ancient Sanskrit word for which there's no modern equivalent. Samadhi is an ancient Sanskrit word for which there's no modern equivalent. Samadhi is an ancient Sanskrit word for which there's no modern equivalent. So this the this the sentence we would like to study today. Samadhi. Samadhi is an ancient word. Yeah, word. Sorry, samadhi is an ancient word. Here it is. Samadhi is an ancient, ancient Sanskrit word for which there is no modern equivalent. So let's go for it again. Samadhi is an ancient Sanskrit word for which there's no modern equivalent. So here it is. Once again. Samadhi is an ancient Sanskrit word for which there's no modern equivalent. So we know that the pronunciation about this word ancient. Ancient. Have you seen the blue syllables? Ancient. Ancient, 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 Sanskrit, Sanskrit, and modern, 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 and then equivalent, equivalent, equivalent. So what does this word mean? One, two, three, four. So here it is. We can look at it. Look at the table, okay? So words and expressions, the illusion. Illusion. What does illusion mean? Oh, illusion is from the part one title, right? Part one title, there is an illusion. Okay, let's go for it. Illusion. Paraphrasing. Paraphrasing, it means uh, using, some, uh, using some easy words to express the word, the new word. You use some, using some Easy words, the common words to explain 
to explain the new word. The new word is is unknown, unfamiliar for us. So using paraphrasing, paraphrasing is is also means explain. Yeah, explain something in another word. So here, illusion. What does it mean? Illusion. A false idea, a belief, is basically about somebody, about a situation. A false idea. It means a wrong idea or a not true idea, right? Untrue idea, a false idea, or belief. You know, belief is also religion. Somebody try to believe something. Belief, belief. It's basically about somebody or about a situation. So this is the word illusion, illusion, illusion. Illusion, and another word is about ancient, 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 ancient. It also means old, and it opposite to modern. So here and、uh, in the sentence is an ancient, modern. So they are opposite, right? Modern, ancient, they are opposite. <coughs> so for this word ancient, it means old. Not modern, opposite to modern. Okay, <clears throat> and then Sanskrit, Sanskrit, Sanskrit. So it also means an、uh, ancient language of India, a Indian expression, a Indian language, a kind of language in the history of India. Okay, this is the Sanskrit, Sanskrit. And then we can go ahead with modern, yeah, modern, the present time or the recent times. It also means our, our time, yeah. So currently, modern, yeah, current, current times, present times, our times we live, okay, our times we live in. So modern, and then equivalent. Equivalent. Have you seen it? One, two, three, four, four syllables. So, equivalent, equivalent, equivalent. It means a scene, a scene, a mount, a word, etc. That is equivalent to something else. Equivalent, equivalent. So. Yeah, it it is a noun here, not an adjective. A adjective, not an adjective word. It's a noun here. In our in our in our context, in our future test, is a noun. So that's the new words. Who would like to read? Uh, who would like to read it, please? Just the. The yeah, the yellow. Have you seen the yellow? How to pronounce it? Who would like to try? Yeah, okay. Yeah, Grace. Good morning, Grace. Yeah, you please. Morning, Edie. Good morning. Would you like to try to pronounce them? Yes. One, two, three, four, and five.、Yes. Five words. Yeah, five words. You please. Yes. Thank you so much. Uh, illusion, illusion. Uh, oh, a ancient, 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 Sanskrit, Sanskrit, Sanskrit. Yes. Okay. Modern, modern, equivalent, equivalent, equivalent. Equivalent. Yeah, so great you are. Grace is great. Yeah. Yes, thank you so much. <laughs> yeah, would you like to try again about this word? Sanskrit is good. Ah,、uh, Sanskrit, Sanskrit, right? And Sanskrit. there is s, and you 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 cannot admit it. You cannot.、Yes. You you should pronounce it. Yes. A sense. Yeah, and the. Connect、yes. you, so it means 
Sanskrit. 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 Would you like to try again? Sanskrit. 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 Perfect. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah. Thank you so Sanskrit. much. Sanskrit. Thank you so much. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you for your leading. Yeah. Amazing. And then, Alice. Good morning, Alice. You need. Yeah. Yeah. I can hear you. So glad to hear you. Would you like to pronounce them for us? Because your yes. pronunciation is very standard. It's very beautiful. You please. Okay. Thank you. Illusion. Illusion. Ancient. Ancient. Sanskrit. Sanskrit. Okay. Modern. Modern. Equivalent. Equivalent. Okay. Thank you. Um, what a genius. Yes, you are genius. You are so great in the pronunciation, so standard. Yeah, just as a native speaker, thank you so much. And then, yeah, and uh, yeah, is Goko right? Hello, Goko. Uh, good morning, uh, Enid. Yeah, I... so great to hear you. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Uh, yeah, just do it, please. Yeah. Uh, yes, illusion, illusion, ancient, ancient, Sanskrit, Sanskrit, modern, modern, equivalent, equivalent. Wow. Yes, yes, so great, amazing. Yeah, marvelous. Thank you so much, Goko. You did so well. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, yeah, your voice uh, sounds like a uh, girl's. Yeah, so beautiful, so young. Yeah, so enjoyable. Yeah, your voice is so great. Thank you. And then, and then, Adieu, it's your turn. It's your turn. Hello, Hello Adieu. Adieu. Yeah. Hi. You can send me. Yeah, nice. <laughs> yeah, nice to meet you. Glad to meet you here. Yeah, yeah pronounce yeah. it, please. Illusion. Illusion. Ancient. 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 Uh, Sang. Sanskrit, Sanskrit, Sanskrit. Modern, modern. Uh, e equivalent, equivalent, equivalent. Thank you very wow. much. Yes, yeah. you are talented. At last, you did it. Yeah, you achieved it. Equivalent. You did so well. Thank you, Adieu. You are amazing. You are an unending wonder. You are incredible you are. Thank you so much. And then, yeah, Virtue. Yeah, hello, Virtue. Good morning, teacher. Hey, good morning. So great to hear you. And uh, welcome. You, you join us. Okay, please pronounce it. Okay. Illusion. Illusion. Ancient, ancient, Sanskrit, Sanskrit, modern, modern, equivalent, equivalent. Thank you. Both your pronunciation and intonation are so great. Thank you. Yeah, would you like to praise the uh, you, would you like to put the stress here, the first one? So would you like move here from here? Try it again, please. This word is, is a bit difficult. Would you like to try again? Virtue? Hello, Virtue. Would you like to try Hello. again? Hello, okay. Yeah, the st stress is here. Have you seen it? Okay. Yeah, please. 
Sanskrit. Sans Sanskrit. Yeah, wonderful now. Perfect. Thank you. Yes, yes, thank you so much. Thank you. Hello, Lotus. Good morning, teacher. Good morning, Lotus. Thank you so uh, much for joining here. Yeah, okay. You please pronounce it. Thank you for your patience and dedication. Your courseware is fantastic. Now I would like to read them. Thank you. <laughs> I'm so happy to hear that. And uh, I'm happy to find that you are satisfied with this lesson and uh, hope you can be with me all the time. Okay, you please. Thank you. You are so great. Okay. Illusion, illusion, ancient, ancient, Sanskrit, Sanskrit, modern, modern, equivalent, equivalent. Thank you. That's all. Yeah, thank you so much. Lotus, yeah. Your English proficiency is really, really high. Your level, English level is very high. Yeah, you can handle it easily. Thank you so much. So that's the words and expressions, right? And then we can go to the grammar, the, the, the brief introduction about the grammar, okay? The grammar here is about a pro proposition, proposition and the relative clauses. Relative clauses introduced by the determiner, which, right? Which, which. So the grammar, the here grammar, the focus is which, which links, which introduces an, a relative clause, a relative clause here. A relative clause, I think you know now. So, introduced by in, introduced by by which and then in front of which there is a in there is a proposition for so here it is the main grammar here the point one point one is about proposition and the relative clause for plus which which works as an uh, as a determiner, determiner. And uh, so who knows which points to which word, which uh, works as a pronoun. So the real noun is which word, who knows? Let me check who knows which here. What does it mean? Somali, wow, you know it. Goku, yeah, genius, yes, I think so. I think so. Amazing, you are. Yes, somebody. So you can, you can, yeah, you can rewrite the sentence here. Rewrite the sentence here. So rewrite the sentence in the normal order. Do you know the normal order? So here we can try. There is no modern equivalent for, there is, there is no modern equivalent for Somali. It means that in the current in the current society, in the current society, in the current time, there is no there is there is not there is nothing. There is nothing equals to Somali. You cannot use a word to express to to determine uh to, to, to explain Samadhi. So here it is. This is the meaning, right? So there is no modern equivalent for Samadhi. Here it is. Just now, Goko answers the question. Thank you so much. So which means Samadhi instead of Samadhi, replace Samadhi. So that's it. Somali. Okay, this is the normal word. It also re rewrite the sentence. Rewrite the sentence. Yeah, in the normal order, right? There is no modern equivalent for Somali. Here it is. 
So this is the point one grammar, and then the, there is another grammar is about the B, the sentence structure the B, the sentence structure the B in relative clause. Relative clause introduced by which, right? This is the relative clause. Relative clause. In the relative clause, there is a sentence structure lead led by the B, the B. The B, what does the B use? When we use, when we can use the B, we use the B to say something, to say that something or somebody exists. Something or somebody exists. The whole word is it exists. So that's it. So when we would like to express something exists, uh, somebody exists, we, we can use the be. So here, there is a the be sentence in relative clause. So there is no modern equivalent. So we, here is a the be, okay? This is the point two grammar. Yeah, and also at the, at the point one, we have rewrote, we have rewritten the sentence. There is a modern equivalent for somebody. Yeah, here it is. So that's the grammar. It is very simple, right? Firstly is and uh, um, prediction for and uh, another word determine which. And uh, it introduces, introduces uh, relative clauses, relative class. And then say, second point, point two, it is about the sentence structure there'll be there'll be and uh, when we would like to uh, describe something as somebody exists we can use there'll be there is something there are something there was something there was something so that's the b okay so and uh, it's time for you to practice it time for you for us to practice it Practice what? Let me check check the check the timetable about the. So here it is. There is no quotation from some features. We cannot find any quotation. Just a description. Just an introduction from the from the writer from the producer. So there is no quotation from our features. So the step four, we can jump. We can jump. Okay. And then it's time for us to do the shadow, to, to shadow it, shadow it, or follow it, follow to learn, okay, the video. Let's follow it. <clears throat> Samadhi is an ancient Sanskrit word for which there's no modern equivalent. So this is the first time. During, during the second time, yeah, from the first time to the second time, there is a break for you to concentrate on the on the intonation, okay, intonation. So let's go to the second time. Samadhi is an ancient Sanskrit word for which there's no modern equivalent. So time now. Samadhi is an ancient Sanskrit word for which there's no modern equivalent. So here it is. So who would like to follow it, to shadow it? Okay, yeah, Grace, you first, please. Yes, thank you so much. Yeah, I'd like to replay it for you, okay? Would you like to follow the video? Yes, okay, thank you. Okay. You can know me, you can understand me. I'm so happy to hear that, okay? Yes, okay, Let's all right. Let's go for it. Yeah. Samadhi is an ancient Sanskrit word for which there's no modern equivalent. <clears throat> yeah, Grace, your time, please. Yes, thank you. Samadhi is an ancient Sanskrit word 
For Western is no more than equivalent. Equivalent, yes. Wow, you're so great. You're, you're so familiar with this sentence. Would you like try again? I would yes. like to play it again, okay? All right. So other other pills, I mean that other kind kind of spirits, other classmates, okay, here. Classmates, yeah, other classmates, you can you can follow it. Yeah, you can follow it yourselves on your own, on your own. And then after several times you can recite it. So so when other when Grace is on the mic, you can also follow it on your own. Okay. okay. Let's do it. Grace, yeah. try again. I, yeah. I will play it for you. Yeah. Samadhi is an ancient Sanskrit word for which there's no modern equivalent. Yes, Grace, you please. Yes. Samadhi is an ancient Sanskrit word for which there is no modern equivalent. Wow, amazing. Thank you so much. Thank and you. then thank you so much. Thank you, thank you so much. And then Alice, it's your turn now. Hello, Alice. <laughs> it's the voice of a power. Would you like to re-enter it, please? We are waiting for you. And then Lotus first, okay? Hello, Lotus. Hello, teacher. Yeah, I like to play it for you. Thank you. Samadhi is an ancient Sanskrit word for which there's no modern equivalent. Yeah, that is you directly, please. Thank you. Samadhi is an ancient Sanskrit word for which there is no modern equivalent. Thank you. Yes, yes, thank you. We're waiting you. We're waiting for you to recite it if possible, okay? Thank you, thank you, Lotus. And then, and then, Alice, are you coming with us? Yeah, can you hear me? Oh, yeah, I, yeah, I can hear you clearly. I will play it for you. Okay, thank you. Samadhi is an ancient Sanskrit word for which there's no modern equivalent. Yes, Alice, please. Okay. Uh, Samadhi is an ancient, ancient Sanskrit word for which there is no modern equivalent. Wow, yes, enjoyable. Thank you so much. Marvelous. Thank you, Alice. And then it's your, it's your turn, Virtue. Hello, Virtue. Hello, teacher. Yeah, glad to hear you again. I'd like to play it for you, okay? Mm -hmm. First of Thank you. Samadhi is an ancient Sanskrit word for which there's no modern equivalent. Yes, virtue, your time. Okay. Samadhi is an ancient Sanskrit word for which there is no modern equivalent. Wow, genius. Beautifully, you, your pronunciation. You. Yeah, you, you, put the stress, you put the stresses in the sentence rightly. Very in the right place, you are, you are so great. A thank native you. speaker, thank you, thank you, Virtue. And then Adieu, yeah, Adieu, welcome back. Hello. Hi. Yes, Let me are. read date. <laughs> yeah, just do it, okay? Yeah, before reading, I will play it for you, okay? Yeah, thank you. Samadhi is an ancient Sanskrit word for which there's no modern equivalent. Yeah, yeah. Adieu. Adieu. your time. Yes. Samadhi is an ancient, ancient Sanskrit word for which there is no modern equivalent. Thank you very much. Uh, yeah. yeah, you are genius. Yeah, would you like to pronounce this word again? Yeah. 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 Please. Uh, and San 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 Sanskrit 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 Wow Thank yeah. you. You realize <laughs> this. Yeah, you 
you re you 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 reunite reunite the stress. Yeah, you are so great. Reorganize it. 好厉害。Oh, sorry, sorry. Yeah, you are amazing. Sanskrit, Sanskrit, Sanskrit. The here Sanskrit in the red one, you need to pronounce it as grace. Okay, Sanskrit. Sorry. How? Yeah. Okay. 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 Sorry. And then next one is 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 Goku. Yeah, it's your turn. Hello, Goku. Hello. Thank you, teacher. Yeah.、I'm、thank、fine. you. Thank you. Yeah, I like to play it for you. Okay. Thank you. Listen to it carefully. It it is helpful. Yes. Samadhi is an ancient Sanskrit word for which there's no modern equivalent. Yeah, I I would like to try. Yeah, please. Samadhi is an ancient Sanskrit word for which there is no modern equivalent. And yes, perfect. The pronunciation, the intonation is so beautiful. Yeah, you are amazing. So, would you like to highlight this word? This word, equivalent. Equivalent. Is there any an? Ah,、uh, ah,、uh, it, uh, it, it, equivalent.、Yeah. Equivalent. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. You realize it so. <laughs> Yeah, so swiftly. Yeah, your reaction. You. I mean, your response is so swiftly. You are so smart. Yeah, <laughs> thank you. Thank you yeah, just once again, this word, please. Equivalent. Equivalent. Perfect. Perfect. Really, indeed, perfect. Yes,、yeah, thank you so much, Goku. You're amazing. Uh, okay. So it's time for us to recite it. Who would like to try to recite it? This is a whole sentence, and、uh, during the whole sentence, there is a sub sub clause, sub clause using for which. So introduced by introduced by, uh, for projection proposition, proposition for, and、uh, another relative, relative or、uh, clause which, which is a determiner. So this is the whole sentence, one main sentence, and then there is a sub and there is a relative clause. Yeah, who would like to try? Wow, Lotus, you can. You please, Lotus, you please. Lotus, I yeah, we entreat you to re-enter. Okay, power. It it is the sound of power. Okay, Lotus, the sound of power, the voice of power. Re-enter, please. We are waiting for you, Lotus. And then, yeah, virtual, you, you please, you, you can second me. Oh,、okay. oh, Lotus, welcome、oh. back. Yeah, I can hear you now. Yes, I can. Okay. Recite okay. it, please. Hold it. Um, samadhi is an ancient Sanskrit word for which there is no modern equivalent. Equivalent. Thank you. Wow, genius! You did it. You made it. Congratulations! Yeah. And then virtue. You would like to try? Yes. Yes, please. Thank you. Samadhi is an ancient Sanskrit word for which there is no modern equivalent. Thank you. That's correct. Yeah, perfect. Full marks. Thank you, you very are. much. Incredible, you are so beautiful. Your voices. Thank you, thank you. You read by heart. Yes, read by heart. You are so great. Or、uh, read it from memory. Both of them are okay. So,、uh, Grace, would you like to try read it by heart? <laughs> okay, you please. Yes, I read by heart. <laughs> <laughs> Samadhi is an ancient Sanskrit word 
Four is three is no more than a quadrant. Yes. Ah, uh, yes, yeah, so you did it. Are you okay? Yes, I'm okay. I think you are okay. You are, yeah, you have achieved four marks. Yeah, um, amazing. Four marks. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah. Who would like to try more? So fluently, yes. Okay, go, Cole. You can, I think. Yes, just get it. Just get on the mic. Yes, yes please. Thank you. Uh, Samadhi is an Asian Sanskrit word for which there is no modern equivalent. Yes, you're amazing. So that's the quality as a doctor degree, right? Doctor. Yes. Thank you. That's the quality. Yeah, you are so excellent. Top, top teacher, top students, top perf professor, a professor, perfe yeah, I, professor, I, professor. Yeah, but I, I can, I cannot explain myself. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I just, you're amazing. I'm sure. You're amazing. Thank you. You very can much. say thank me. You can say thank me. Thank you for your yeah. Thank you for your work. The praises, yes, praises, uh, yeah. Uh, thank you for your commitment. Uh, commitment. Uh, would you like to write the, the sentence after the classes? Yeah, I think okay. so, because maybe there is a record we can, yeah, we can do that for you. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, thank you. Top professor, top student, and... Uh, your voice is so beautiful. You have a good memory. Yeah, you are amazing. Thank you. You have a good memory, like an elephant. <laughs> okay. It's taking under the distraction of the teacher. Thank you. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, Lotus. Your, I mean that your written skill, how to uh, writing, the skill of writing is so great. You have, you are good at grammar, Lotus. And I, I think if you practice with us on the mic more and more, you are the top student also. In you are top in in what? You are best in what? In reading, listening, writing and uh, speaking. Yeah, there is yeah, it is it is promising. Do you know promising? Fabulous. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Maggie. And uh, thank you so much for your support. You are always with me all the way. Thank you for your support. And uh, who would like to try more this sentence? Oh, read it, you can. Who would like to read it more? I, I'd like to play it for you because there are some time left. Okay, let's go for it. And uh, at the same time, we can wait other people, well, other classmates, other peers to join us, okay? We can listen to it for several more times. Samadhi is an ancient Sanskrit word for which there's no modern equivalent. Samadhi is an ancient Sanskrit word for which there's no modern equivalent. Samadhi is an ancient Sanskrit word for which there's no modern equivalent. Yeah, here it is. Who would like to try to read it? Yeah, you can read it. You can repeat it. No problem. If no, I will try it. I will follow it first, okay? Samadhi is an ancient Sanskrit word for which there's no modern equivalent. Samadhi is an ancient Sanskrit word for which there is no modern equivalent. There is no modern equivalent. Yeah. Samadhi is an ancient is an ancient Sanskrit word for which there is a modern there's no modern equivalent. Okay, I like to recite it for uh, from my memory. Please keep an eye for me, okay? I love you. Please. Okay, Samadhi is an ancient Sanskrit word for which there is no modern equivalent. Samadhi is an ancient Sanskrit word. Sanskrit word 
for which there is the modern equivalent. Samadhi is an ancient Sanskrit word, for which there is the modern equivalent. Yes, that's it. Thank you so much, Lotus, for your encouragement, for your words. Yeah. Yes. In that way, you can be a teacher in the future. In the coming, in the coming, in the coming future, in in the coming future, yes, sooner you will be. Thank you, Lotus. And then, clearly, okay. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Some ah、uh, samadhi. Yeah, it also means. Oh, what's the problem? Okay, so Goko or.、Oh, What's it? So, what does samadhi mean just now? I think samadhi. Yeah, yeah. We can introduce it again. Maybe samadhi. Maybe samadhi. Both of them are okay. The pronunciation samadhi, a、uh, samadhi, because a、uh, can replace ah.、Uh. Okay, here, um. And there is a little grammar here. A little grammar here is about be equivalent for. Who know the proposition? Who know who know it? The expression. I mean that the uh the word group. The word group be equivalent equivalent for. The proposition is for right. Be equivalent for. Here you use for be equivalent for something. It means equals to something. So here is another. It's another group. Uh, expression expression here. The word group be equivalent for equals equal to equal to be equal to. Okay. So that's the point. Uh, uh additionally, yeah. So, uh, after after studying, so who would like to summarize what we've learned today? Who would like to summarize it for the gram from the grammar? What? How many points have we got? How many points? Grammar, and then yeah, I think we can we can yeah we can memorize this sentence now, right? And we can know what is samadhi mean. What is it? It is an ancient word, right? And in the current time, in the contem contemporary, in the current time, there is no modern equivalent. There is no. It is hard to find a. It is hard to find a word to replace it. So the samadhi is here. And then the grammar, the grammar who would like to, or maybe it is very hard to for us to express ourselves, such as the gram name, right? Okay, let's go over it. For the grammar, there are two points. The one is the preposition and the relative clauses. Preposition is for, and the relative clauses is introduced by which, and which works as a determiner. And for this this word, the order, the the normal order, the normal order is that there is the modern equivalent for Somali, which equals Somali, which is a pronoun, and its real noun is Somali. Here it is. This is the point one. Point two is about the sentence structure, and、uh, there is another sentence structure about the B. It is very popular. As works as it is a very popular working as the grammar, right? The B. Yeah, the B. You can often see the B everywhere during the sentences among the sentences. So that's the point, and、uh, that's the highlights for tonight,、uh, for for this morning, right? This morning, okay. Thank you for listening, and thank you for your support, for your time, for being with me all the way, all the time, and especially your 
your participation, your keen. Okay, see you tomorrow. See you again. Thank you.